Welcome forward to uh, star 13 of our reflections and um, again we're still going through the Beatitudes I think we've got um, two left after after star 13 and the three words that we're using to help us orientate ourselves through the Beatitudes and dr draw out um, meaning are knowledge, engaged and foster father of the Son of God and again that's linking in with 33 days of, of Saint Joseph so another beatitude blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called children of God again you might want to just pause the video and give that some thought yourself and link it in with that uh, those three words knowledge engaged and foster father of the son of god so just briefly i've, I've actually found this one quite difficult um, to sort of link those three words or how i suppose those those three stars if you like or that star to orientate ourselves into that now if i was just looking at that beatitude on its own without those three words then clearly would be going down a different path of our reflections but the, but those three words if you have to use them actually draw some other avenues or paths that you wouldn't normally think about so what I want to do is first of all I did a brainstorm and it has been difficult and, and I'm sure that this will change again it's getting more and more enriching as as I'm reflecting on it but even now as I'm thinking I'm sort of this this concept of knowledge is 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 coming out so if you're a peacemaker you have to be active and you have to be and possibly <clears throat> if you're active proactive in being a peacemaker then clearly you think you know what you're doing or at least you're against um what's for example you're in the you're in a war in a battle and you have to go into that so that's interesting but this word of knowledge and at the moment you know that there's this um i suppose there is a battle going on about what is the truth and true knowledge and there's so much what people call fake news which again i'm not sure that's the right terminology but there's so much misinformation and malinformation there's so much lies going on and and bias in everything we read and see it's difficult to actually know what the truth is and what real knowledge is and and, and i think that's becoming harder and harder for us, all of us, to do, particularly young people as well, particularly young people, and because they're bombarded with so much on social media and so forth. So, again, linking to those words, how do we engage ourselves with the truth, truthful knowledge, and goodness and beauty, which we've talked about? And then it goes back to that question, what is the truth? What is truth? What is truthful knowledge information and that those aren't necessarily easy answers to um sorry they're not easy questions to answer um especially with so much sort of misinformation going on and and bias so just some linking it back to this particular reflection um about saint you know the foster father the son of god so which links to saint joseph so what are the facts if we look at just knowledge what are some facts about saint joseph and the fact that he was engaged which is one of our words to mary so i think the facts are one he was engaged to mary he finds out she was pregnant and decides to act in a peaceful way by not stoning her which he could have done in those days and publicize the fact as we talk you know he wants to deal with it quietly respectfully and so forth but he then prays to God, ponders on it, dreams, we know that's a fact, and he listens to God. And as a result, he's told the truth in his dream, in his prayers to God. And as a result of that, he then acts very differently. He acts on the truth. His decision has changed based on that truth um, through his prayers and talking to God. And, and therefore, I want you to give that some thought there about praying that the, the need to pray and ponder over these things and not just act on what everyone thinks is going on or gossip and, and so forth it's so easy to judge 
So we are being challenged in this, this beatitude not to judge. And if we don't judge, then we're more likely to be able to be peacemakers. And if we start judging and jumping down people's throats, we won't be peacemakers at all. It will just inflame. And people with strong opinions and very opinionated and, and act like that do not help that process at all. So it's about, we need do need to listen to the truth, but what is that truth? And it's about listening to God's will, his voice in our lives. And, and that is about praying. We need to pray more, reflect more on the Gospels. And again, this seeking the truth, beauty, goodness, God's will just, just keeps coming. And it will be revealed to us if we generally seek and knock and, and therefore we'll be able to orientate our lives to that and our attitudes. So where is the truth and where can it be found? And I think that will help us uh, if we generally go on that journey and orientate ourselves that way, then I'm sure we too will become peacemakers of the truth anyway it's an interesting one very difficult but i'll leave you with your own thoughts and i've and i'll certainly be giving this one some more thoughts so god bless